بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين One of the major qualities of a believer is patience Patience is something that according to Islamic teachings is considered to be at the top of faith structure. In hadith we have this beautiful expression that as sabru min al iman bi manzilat al ra's min al jasad. Patience for faith is like head for body. It means that in the structure of faith Patience is at the top. Without patience, we cannot achieve anything. Anyone who wants to be successful in worldly affairs or spiritual affairs has to be <coughs> patient. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran in many places talks about the virtue of patience, about the people who are patient, and the reward that he has for those who are patient. For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَبَشِّرَ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ Give the good news, give the glad tidings to those who are patient. These are the people that when they receive the sad news of a loss, for example, if they hear that a dear friend or family member has passed away they say inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un we all belong to god and to god we return and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that these are the people that they would receive salutations from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also mercy from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or in another place Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that those who are patient would be rewarded without any measure those who are patient will be rewarded without any limitation so although Allah's reward is always generous, ajrun karim, ajrun kabir, ajrun azim, but when it comes to those who are patient, the reward is without measure. So what is patience? Patience is to be able to face challenges, difficulties, troubles of life, which are normal which happen to everyone you cannot find anyone who doesn't have any problem a person who is strong a person who is <clears throat> consistent would not change his direction would not give up just because there are problems indeed when you have a very important goal to achieve you have to be ready to face challenges and remain persistent and then success would come. Sometimes we have to be patient with respect to performing our obligatory actions. Sometimes we have to be patient with respect to avoiding sins and temptations which are coming from Satan or our soul which is not pure the soul which commands to do bad things nafsa ammara sometimes we have to be patient with respect to the calamities so we have different types of patience as sabru ala ta'a as sabru an al ma'siya as sabru ala al musiba so we have to be always careful that we have a direction we have certain aims and goals 
and then wholeheartedly we should try to focus on them and pursue them and do not let any problem any challenge take us away success in this world and success in the hereafter can be only for the people who are patient and persistent and of course Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is great supporter of those who are patient especially those who have suffering in their life Allah would love them a lot Allah would reward them without measure and these are the people who would be richest people on the day of judgment may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala include all of us among the patient wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillah rabbil alamin